All right, folks, let's explore the gateway, the Deep Space Launch Complex. This complex explores the future of space travel while highlighting what's happening right now in the space program. First, let's see the spacecraft of today and the visionary designs paving the way for human space travel and discover the current cutting edge space exploration innovations from NASA and commercial partners. Here's a preview of what you can see inside. Let's start with the Orion Exploration Flight Test, EFT-1, seen here on display. The EFT-1 was launched in 2014 for Lockheed Martin's capsule's maiden voyage test mission. You heard that right. This piece of scientific technology flew into space, and you can see it inches right in front of you. Along with the SLS rocket, the Orion spacecraft will soon play an essential role in returning humans to the moon in NASA's Artemis missions. One of the cool things is that you can explore Orion's features and compare them to the Apollo capsules of the past through interactive screens. Next, we have the SpaceX Cargo Dragon COTS-2. The Dragon was the first commercial spacecraft to deliver and return cargo from the International Space Station in 2012. Again, this piece of science and technology actually flew to space and you can see it with your own eyes at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. So let's continue the theme with science technology that actually has been to outer space with the SpaceX Falcon 9 booster. It's hard to miss the flight-proven SpaceX booster suspended overhead. This booster flew twice, most notably as a side booster for the Falcon Heavy test flight in 2018. And for a taste of the future, we also got the Sierra Space Dream Chaser. This is a replica of the Dream Chaser. The Dream Chaser will perform cargo resupply missions to the International Space Station for NASA. It's a reusable space plane that can land on existing commercial runways and provides a space vehicle for NASA and private industry. The Dream Chaser replica is a full-size model suspended from the ceiling as if it were flying through space. Another cool piece of the future is the Boeing CST-100 Starliner mock-up capsule. This mock-up, created to test how the CST-100 Starliner crew module would work during a real mission, has been used for several hours of actual training. The CST-100 Starliner can carry four to five astronauts and cargo and is designed for a ground landing rather than water. The mock-up capsule has interactive touchscreens that allow you to discover more. And have you thought about the environment needed in a spaceship to live in outer space? Well, in the Lockheed Martin Space Habitat, you can step into this full-scale mock-up of what a habitat orbiting the moon can look like. The habitat shows the need to take advantage of all the space, both on the floor and the ceiling, to get the most functionality. Well, in the Lockheed Martin Space Habitat, you can step into a full-scale mock-up of what a habitat orbiting the moon can look like. The habitat shows the need to take advantage of all the space, both on the floor and the ceiling, to get the most functionality. And one of my favorites, the Boeing space suit. Can you guys guess why? I was just thinking, we look pretty good in blue. That would look great on us. All jokes aside, this replica spacesuit features authentic elements of those worn by Starliner astronauts. And guys, that's not even half of everything you can see or experience at the Gateway, the Deep Space Launch Complex. So book your trip today to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. For more segments like this, you know you can always download the FCN Plus app.